Merry Christmas, everyone. As we say across the pond, happy holidays. Today on Alvarez TV, we are talking guitars for guitarists who maybe just don't need any more guitars. What do you think? Rubbish. Let's do this. Gosh, that's quite a collection of uh, musical instrumentalists. Certainly, I and mean, we're a bit. Uh, <laughs> is that the Latin? I don't know. Musicalist <laughs> instrumentalists. It's all, it's all too Christmassy around here. <laughs> it is a bit nuts. Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas, everybody. Yeah. Merry Christmas. How you doing, Merry guys? Can't play bass at all. Why? How come I got bass? You're a bass player. I know. I'm but, it's, there. but the show's about guitars that you maybe wouldn't normally go for, right? That's right. There we go. Buy a bass. You go. Need to learn that. So but Christmas comes. Everybody needs a reason or an idea to say, I need another gift. Guitarists like guitars. Mm. Not very good at being minimal guitarists, are you? Because you need so many different instruments for all of the different <clears throat> styles that you play and... First question is, why, like, when do we start needing more guitars? Mm. <laughs> 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 because, like, you spend a long time learning guitar mm -hmm. and then all of a sudden you need another one. And then that's it, you're off and running. It does end up like that, doesn't it? Once you start on that journey, it's kind of hard, isn't it? It's a little bit of an obsession. But now I have, I have three dreadnoughts tuning standard, half a step down and a yeah. full step down, because I can't be bothered. Just pure lazy. <laughs> That's very bougie. Yeah, I'll give you that very one. bougie. Yeah. Perks of the job. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not sure I'd have like, you know, maybe I, I might go down to C. Right. And then I need five. Uh, <laughs> How many guitars have you got? I don't know off the top of my head, but I, I always have the ones. So I always have ones that I use for for jobs, like yeah. shows and stuff. Yeah, so, yeah. You know, like the FYM seventy goes everywhere with us and has been on every every show mm -hmm. that I use. But then I have different ones at home. But generally, I just have like ones I use for jobs and ones that are sentimental. Right. I try sentimental. <laughs> sentimental guitars. Like I got an eighteen fifty present off my parents and my granddad together. Yeah. That'll always stay. A couple of the ones that are sitting around. But like my Yairi, my DYMR doesn't really go anywhere. But it just sounds too good to mm. ever go anywhere. You know, so that'll always be around. And the FYM is there. Always it's pretty up. bougie as well. That is a bougie right, one. Yeah, here he is. He I mean, I've been around the house. A couple of yeah, here he is. My yeah, here room. Welcome. <laughs> I do pick it up and I have those and like the work guitars and the sentimental guitars and some of them go together and become work mm. and sentimental. But then things like this, you know, I play this today. So if you got that for Christmas, would you be happy? Yeah, because then that could be the hotel room guitar, couldn't it? Oh, I, no, I don't no, normally no. do that. And I was thinking to myself when I was playing it, I was like, oh, it could be the no. could Stop be? it, because then it's just one more, one, one thing. But that's a nice looking thing, though, too, isn't it? It's not. It's, it's, it's quite, beautiful. Yeah. It's really nice. This one is really nice, actually. And it sounds lovely. That was what I said Gotta to you. Gotta say, though, it's absolutely brilliant, isn't this it? This is wicked. This is a solid, sicker top. Yeah, it's walnut. a six string ukulele. <clears throat> yeah, walnut back and sides, right? Yeah. Uh, bone nut. It's a. It's the same. Is it an inch? Forty-five mil, inch and three quarters. Yeah. So you can play it like a normal guitar. So it feels like a guitar. It looks like it's not going to feel like a guitar, and it really mm. does. Obviously, it's got nylon plug strings it. on it. You can plug it in. It's got a tuner on it. Nice quality. That's a good. That's tuners. a good. Because like a good Christmas present. Because mm. you could be anywhere in the house. It could be on the sofa. It could be like it's not going to get in the way, is it? Yeah, I think it's. A, it's and it's also really well illuminated. <laughs> Right, sounds great. Mm -hmm. I mean, I kind of wasn't really expecting that from a short scale. Yeah, yeah, of like course. It's, yeah, it um, presents challenges. You know, I was thinking with that one, for people who travel a lot for whatever they do, if you had a large suitcase, my large suitcase, it goes in the hold. I mean, it would take up half <laughs> of the room in the suitcase, <clears> but if you really you want could, to travel yeah. with a guitar... You don't want to take any clothes with you. Well, <laughs> you wrap the t-shirts really. around it, then it becomes a skin <laughs> bag. A big case <laughs> of the <laughs> This, though, 
Mm. That's a different, I mean, that's a substantial gift. Isn't that's it? not going on a suitcase, is that's it? That's not going on a suitcase. <laughs> that's going on your back. I mean, I can't play bass to save my life, but... I don't know, you're doing all right then. But when you pick it up, I do enjoy it. And mm. it's like, you're off and running to, to, to the, learn different things and maybe come mm -hmm. up with different styles of tunes, but um, hurting already. Is it? You just have to get a bass, build, build, up, build up the strength. And also singing when you're playing bass, I think well, it's very difficult. Well, it, it, is, it is a little bit of a physical challenge, that. Yeah. I know when we do the Alveros and I play the acoustic bass, mm. it, is, it is a bit... Take, yeah, it takes yeah. its toll. Well, it's the pretty but, heavy strings. If somebody bought me this for Christmas, I'd be chuffed to bits mm. because I haven't got one and it's like an excuse to have another guitar. Mm. That you're going to learn from. It also sounds great plugged in. True. It sounds like an upright. It has a really hey. lovely sound to it. Yeah. I, I, I like those a lot, actually. So we've got an um, Artist Elite LJ. LJP70CEASHB, catchy. 66 FT. <laughs> RS. Catchy name. <laughs> Less said the better. Move along. <laughs> AUB. AUB. Or AU70BW6, right? That's right, right? 70B. So it's 70 six, six string uke. Great pe present, I think. Yeah. Um, we've got our AB60, which is our Artist Series base. Well, now we're going to go to something completely different. We certainly are. And we're back. Three new guitars. What you got, mate? The beautiful Delta Delight. I love this. The reason I love it is because the shape is absolutely gorgeous. It's so balanced, looks pretty elegant. You know, it's based on a, on a Delta, but mm -hmm. it's just small. And it's a proper little blues guitar. It's a great little guitar, that. Yeah. I love the bridge. I think it's like, it's maybe as small as you can get mm. while still making a proper guitar. That's it. it it's not a like... toy. It's not gone too far on the travel thing. Yeah. It doesn't sound like a uke. Like the other one doesn't sound, it's the other one D was playing before sounds great, but it doesn't sound like a guitar. Yeah. Whereas that's still. It's still a guitar, yeah. but it's absolutely light as a feather. You know, very, very small, really. Pop a nut with so you can play. Actually, for for its body size, it doesn't. It's if quite you, a lot of bottom end, isn't it? Isn't it? Enough. If you had your eyes shut, you wouldn't know it was a travel guitar, which I think you is wouldn't. the the key to. And even recording, I think, blues. Again, what we've been saying with a bigger guitar, so you're getting sort mm -hmm. of mm. that sort of punchy compression with maybe a dreadnought or something. I absolutely love it. In fact. I'm going to take this home for Christmas. Are you? <laughs> for a little while, just so to have should. around, yeah? <laughs> Leave the land of dreadnoughts and finally try something else. Merry yeah. Christmas. Bridge is interesting, though. Bridge is different. So we use a standard um, rectangle bridge rather than the bi-level. Because originally this was in the um, Jazz and Blues series. So we kept things quite. So ah. there was like um, Delta Delight, a Delta Double O, and there was a Blues 51, which was a 12th fret. Rose with backs and sides, really nice. What you got? A bit different? Baritone guitar. This it's... is definitely, should be in your collection. Oh, I, I love it. Because every time you get baritone, you think, you just change how you mm -hmm. play guitar. You're like, it draws you in. You do, you're not yeah. strumming or playing too hard. It's like those low frequencies makes you play quite gently. It just resonates really beautifully. I mean, the thing is, it's a fourth below, right? So it's, it's, below, it's, yeah. start, it's a B, is, is, the, is the, mm -hmm. the low, but listen. Mm -hmm. It is really nice, isn't it? Great for like duets or... I think it's just a great compliment. Yeah. If you have, you could have three, we're playing these three different size guitars. Yeah. yeah. And there's, there's no kind of competition. The roles are sitting very nicely. Me, who's always thinking about the mix and yeah. the balance. Mm. I don't know yeah, why I don't. fighting for space. So I'll tell you what, you all play a D chord and we'll explain what we're talking I'll play about. a G. Yeah, you, but you play a G, I'll yeah, play a G, of course. Play, yeah. Right, G shape anyway. D chord still, ready? <laughs> So you've got three guitars filling a lot of sonic space. Yes. Double guitars. <laughs> Guitarists playing guitars that are now filling the sonic horizon. <laughs> <laughs> Special. So, so, mate, would you be happy with that for Christmas? Am I getting this for Christmas? Ah, uh, you? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be over the moon. Great. I think it's a great thing. Yeah, love it. Also, if you're playing in an acoustic duet, like to have a baritone and a normal guitar, the voices yeah. looks very nice. Mm. Make sure the voices are, because two people playing bar chords or whatever at the same time sounds good. Yeah. 
but you can expand that loads with yeah. just like working out some voices and it'll sound much bigger. Yeah, than. absolutely. Definitely. Here I've got Yeah, what you got mate? AG sixty eight string, right? All the most of the sound of a twelve string without most of the hassle of a twelve string. Because who wants to tune up a twelve string? Live. <sighs> Live in the studio. Hang on a second, I just need to tune. You know, it's five minutes. <laughs> yeah. Is anybody, yeah. if you've if you've been playing live with a 12 string and you've had to tune it, please tell us your nightmares because it is. The crowd could leave maybe. <laughs> Come back. I'm finished, I'm done. Oh, yeah, because I've, I've been there playing electric 12 string live and it was just, if it goes slightly wrong, it goes really wrong. Like if you're yeah, just you can a little bit it. out, it's just, it's even one of the like mad out. It's just, yeah. yeah. But it's not just that, it's a kind of like, it's the physicality of it too, isn't it? Just having to always fret 12, 12 strings. 12 strings. Yeah. So that's, I think that's a great compromise. Absolutely. Like I've played a lot of, well, not a lot, but I've done 12 string demos. Just, just let, let us hear it. You want to hear it? Yeah. Sounds cool. It's like, it's like most you get the of the shimmer. sound of a 12 string. Certainly those strings. So the nut width is the same, the neck's the same width as the standard guitar, mm -hmm. which is great. Tuning issues are much reduced. Yeah. And just a bit easier to play, right? A bit easier to play, definitely. Like 12 strings are great. And you get some players who are 12 string players and they just sound mm -hmm. unreal. I'm not a 12 string player particularly. I can play it but it hurts my hands. Mm -hmm. um, just like you were saying with the bass, like mm -hmm. my hands aren't trained up for the strength you need for the 12 string. Mm -hmm. But here you're getting, you're getting most of that sound mm -hmm. with a lot less hassle. Great. It's really cool. And the artist series is always like- Would you be happy with if somebody gave you that for Christmas? I would. I'd prefer the travel guitar because that's more up my street, but uh, still, this is great. Do you like the LJ better? Personally, yeah. It's more my, more my style. I think I'd like this better than the bass. The bass is good, but I'll leave you to the base. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit of a challenge. I think there's loads of, I mean, you know, not, not to buy Alvarez or anything else, but there's loads of options, I think, if you're going to buy yourself something for Christmas, which, you, you know, we always need an excuse for another guitar. Well, that's the thing if you're looking for inspiration. Yeah. Like picking up something different, guitar yeah. related, any of these things. If you're like feeling a bit fed up with your guitar playing, like everyone does at some point, then. No, so it doesn't have do to you ever Christmas. sit down and just think, I just want something new to play? I'm just like, do you ever not know what to play? I've generally got like a list of things that I want to learn. I mean, surprise, surprise, I write list about like what I want to learn next, like in, in things like that. So I'll always force myself to do that thing. So you have a list of pieces of music. What, what about just, but you must sit down and just noodle, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I do that. And it's that thing, isn't it? You always, but you can noodle. Like anyone else, I get fed up with the sound of my own guitar playing sometimes. And then that's the perfect time to go to something like this. Brilliant. Definitely. Okay, everybody, we wish you a Merry Christmas. Thanks so much for tuning in. Merry All Christmas, the best, guys. Catch you soon. See ya. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, click the like button and consider subscribing to our channel. If you want to watch more videos like this one, click the video on the screen now.